Hi, welcome. This is our weekly reading for September 9th through the 15th, 2016. Remember, it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, and praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing. So see what feels right for you. It could be one sign that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions that are based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody involved in the situation and so on. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. Remember how you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you in the end. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave? Preparing for the wave? Crashing into the wave? Diving into the wave? Ignoring that wave? Get the gist. Um, feel free to make this an interactive video with me if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And I also want to mention I'm very excited about this week's readings. Um, I got a bunch of new uh, decks, oracle cards, and tarot decks, and let me show you what they are. The Thalemia Tarot um, by Renetta Lecher. The Enchanted Map Oracle Cards by Colette Baron reed The Life Purpose Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Earth Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer. And The Karma Cards by Monty Faber. And Actually, the entire reason I went to the store was to replace my Native American tarot because I was missing four cards. And I was really called to use this deck this week. So this is by Magda Rec Gonzalez, the 9th through the 15th of September. Virgo, happy birthday, guys, if it's your birthday. Happy birthday. I love you guys. Okay, um, let's continue with the reading for... Um, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. I'm going to start with the Earth Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our Higher Self, Angels, and Energies of Love have for Virgo this week for the highest and greatest good of all. One card for clarity and focus, understanding into the week. Let's see what we have, Virgo. One card. Every single one of these decks I'm using is new. I've used the Native American Tarot before, but the deck I have is brand new. So, um, I'm doing a raw reading with most of these decks. I'll get more used to them in the future. Let's see what we have for Virgo. I really like them. I feel like I got a lot of beautiful decks today. I'm pretty excited about these readings this week, Virgo. Fog. So something is veiled. Something you can't see. Something like in the horizon. It's like you're focused on the light. I feel like the light is piercing through, but you can't see the, f the landscape. I wanted to say the format, the layout. Perhaps you can see, I want to say like website, maybe Virgo, some of you are doing a website and you have a basic idea about how to do it, or um, perhaps you're working with clients who do, um, you're like a web designer and your clients are sort of foggy about what they want, they're not clear about what they want, or perhaps this is you not clear about what you want, or somebody else. I don't know if this is you, Virgo, that's completely not clear about something because it's circumstantial fog, um, or if this is self-made fog, you know, like not thinking straight about something. Um, let's get more clarity, Virgo. Let's see what the fog is about. I'm going to go to the Thalema uh, Tarot. Let's get a card for Virgo and see what's going on in the fog. Um, sometimes something's going on in the fog we're not supposed to know about until the fog naturally lifts and then we can proceed. Uh, so let's see, let's see what's going on with the fog. Something veiled. 
Um, I also just thought of a bride. So maybe some of you are getting married or thinking about marriage and the veil. Perhaps you're like even a veil designer or you're thinking about buying a veil. Um, that was sort of different for that one. Um, writing a blog, something like that. Writing. Oh, I just lost half the deck, Virgo. Hold on. All right, one card for Virgo. And the fog. The six of wands. So foggy about victory, worried about victory, worried if you're ready to get on your parade, be recognized. Um, perhaps you weren't recognized before, Virgo. Perhaps you were away on a journey. You were doing something, preparing something, putting some work in, putting time in. You were like out of sight. Um, perhaps you were in the fog. Um, perhaps you were working in the fog or something was going on. I feel like maybe you were working in the fog. Perhaps there were people around you who didn't know what you were doing. You were sort of a hermit Virgo for a little while and perhaps it's time to be recognized a little bit. This is victory. The six of wands is beautiful. Um, I feel like in this particular card, there's a big shield and there's a lot of protection. Like you're protected, you're safe, Virgo. You're safe on this victory. Um, the sun is out and the moon is out together on that flag. I feel like they're both on the flag, but they're alive. Um, so maybe something with the eclipse. Um, there's blue skies behind you. So perhaps you're leaving the fog behind. The fog has lifted, the veil has lifted, and you're coming home. Perhaps uh, others are recognizing what you're really doing now. Perhaps they were unsure before, they weren't quite sure about what you were doing out there when it was foggy. Why were, why were you up so early in the morning? You know, why are you going outside when the weather is weird? Virgo, people don't know what's going on out there. They're comfortable inside. You know, they're inside the gates here. Perhaps you're doing something that nobody sees, nobody understands, but now they're going to see it. Something's coming to light. I feel like the sun is coming out in both of these cards, Virgo. So, um, let's get more clarity. I'm going to go to the Life Purpose cards. This is by Doreen Virtue. Let's get a card for Virgo. Bring clarity to the fog, to victory. I would say, Virgo, allowing yourself to have victory. Allowing yourself to enjoy something. Allowing... Um, yourself to enjoy time with others too. I feel like there's always a parade. There's always a celebration. There's always something that you did that um, involved time, involved energy, and you learned something. You gained something. You gained balance. You gained love. You gained passion. You gained something, and now you're returning. I feel like there's like a gain and a return, like a mission, and you came back and you're better. And now there's like the party. You know, you're going to sit down and review. Um, let's see. It's funny. I was just thinking of six. Virgo, you actually came up for my sixth video, which is your natural position, technically, but I don't do anything normal. I actually just do random order of all the signs every week. And Virgo, you're six. This is justice. So your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. So you can see um, how to balance a situation, how to lift the veil. Maybe you can see the truth in situations, Virgo. Um, you know how to balance the scales. You know how to perhaps make others succeed. I feel like this involves others with you, Virgo, with us, Virgo. I'm a Virgo son, so I'm here. Um, I'm here with you guys. So, um, I feel like it's allowing victory in and allowing uh, victory in for others as well. Perhaps there's a Libra or something's happening um, in like towards the end of September, September when Libra season comes. Um, 
something with, I feel like this has to do with others and um, helping others be recognized, helping others find their dreams, helping others feel balanced, helping others um, I heard the word dignity, so perhaps fairness, protection, and help others feel like they have their dignity back. I can't even say that word right. Um, all right, let's go to let's go to the um, Native American tarot, and let's get a card for. Clarity on justice, six of wands, fog being veiled, um, truth revealed. I feel like perhaps things were just unfair for you, Virgo, in the past. How others saw you, saw your situation, saw what you were doing. Perhaps they just didn't see it. Perhaps it was just, you know, beyond the mountain. Um, and I feel like you discovered something. And now you're helping others discover something. You're helping others feel protect, protected, like they can do something, like they could venture out on a journey in the weird weather and figure something out on their own too, kind of thing. Um, I feel like a journey is involved with that card for some reason. So perhaps you're going on a journey, helping others go on a journey, on a quest, um, something like that. Help them do some kind of thing with documents. Maybe you can help them with some kind of organization or uh, cate categorization. Like, um, I feel like web design is involved. So perhaps like searches or search engines or like keywords. You do something, you do something, I lost all my cards, Virgo. You do something like that where you can help somebody where they don't understand how to get their stuff out there and they have good material, but you understand like the back way to help them. Perhaps that's involved. That came for something. I feel like it has to do with the internet and design and victory, but um, creation of something. And... Uh, like the scales were tipped some way. Like you have talent in one thing and somebody has it somewhere else. And you can recognize that and bring that together. I hope what I just said made sense, Virgo. I'm not sure what I just said. <laughs> Hold on. All right, let's get a card for Virgo. Seven. Vision quest. Did I say vision? Did I say that? I feel like I said that. I'm not sure, Virgo, but perhaps a vision quest. You're helping somebody. Go out on a vision quest, or that's you. Um, it's change. It's seven. It's allowing yourself to see something differently. It's a seven of vessels, so it has to do with your emotion. It's, I feel like somebody going out and being alone and having dreams, having visions, um, like actual visu visualization, like seeing the picture and then coming home with the plans and the ideas and being ready to start. So perhaps you're helping somebody else do this or this is you, Virgo. But it, I feel like it involves solitude or you had that solitude already and now you're coming back. Maybe you're coming back home from a long vision quest, like a long time of just figuring something out or somebody else has been away from you for a while figuring something out. I feel like even here, that's like a web. Um, all right, let's go to the um, uh, the Enchanted Map cards by Colette Baron Reed, and let's get one more card for Virgo for the Vision Quest for a seven spiritual change, um, emotional change change in how you see something. You come back a different person, Virgo. It's commitment. It's time to do something. Time to get on board. Um, perhaps somebody else is getting on board with you. I see two hands coming together. Energies mingling and love and dreams coming true here. It's a 36. It's a 9. It's completion. It's you, Virgo. It's time to commit. 
start to do something. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.